Hockey's holy grail made the ride up the Riverwalk yet again. While Stanley might not have needed a life jacket today, the cup could have used some bubble wrap. Oopsie. Yeah, I think we might need to put Lord Stanley on long-term IR, a little upper body injury for the cup during today's uh, party. The chalice a little bit banged up. Uh, the caption pretty clever here. The, that'll buff right out. Uh, yeah, it might take a little more than a wax on, wax off to get that thing fixed. Oh, the boy. team confirmed that the uh, trophy was damaged during today's celebration and is going to head to Montreal for repairs. That's the only time Montreal gets it, though. It's going to return here to Tampa to make the rounds. Now, before you go chastising the Bolts, this isn't the first time that Lord Stanley needed a bit of surgery. It's actually not all that uncommon for the greatest trophy in sports to get a little banged up. It's had some rough nights, and we can share a few with you here. As legend has it, back in 1987, Mark Messier with the Oilers took the cup out clubbing, and it needed uh, to make a similar trip back to the shop. And in 1998, Chris Draper with the Detroit Red Wings, he put his daughter in the Stanley Cup, but she didn't have a diaper on, and she turned the cup into a commode. Yeah. And in 1962, the Toronto Maple Leafs, they took Lord Stanley to a celebratory bonfire. Somebody thought it was firewood by mistake. That person must have been really banged up themselves. A little walk down that. memory lane there. So <laughs> if anything, the damage just shows that the Bolts had a really great time today, and so did we. Oh, uh, we had an epic adventure. Look at this. Man, what a fun day today was. Let's take a look back at some of the best moments from today's celebration. Let's start with Lord T Stanley taking another spin on Killer Sea-Doo. We saw a similar ride last year for Lord Stanley, a little trip. This was really the closest that it got to the water. But the duo there with Nikita Kucherov, this was last year, by the way, the duo. Oh. Yeah, they had a little bit of fun. Uh, next up, another tradition for Yanni Gord, smashing those beers together at Armature Works. <laughs> it was the same spot he chugged those beers last year. Ryan and I had a front row yeah, seat for that iconic shotgun. One person who didn't get to knock one down. Oh, boy. Yeah, Mr. Ryan. I knew this was Anthony Sorelli, yeah, we had to do it. Toss a cold one to my co-anchor, but... He didn't quite make that catch. Look, I got to take a little bit of responsibility here. My hand was in the way. You played I, a good I, defensive I, back a little, there. A little you interception what. there, but you know, I cost you a little bit of a deal, maybe with you the did. beer company. That was an ice cold beard too. <laughs> uh, now this moment is just iconic for Champa Bay: the Lombardi, the Stanley Cup, and the Con Smythe all walk into a bar. I mean, take a ride on the same boat. <laughs> That's some valuable hardware and the three best friends that anyone <laughs> could have. And finally, Pat Maroon handing the cup over to Ellis Allenson, known for his dance moves. You've ever been to the Bolts game? He wins the dance off each and every time. John Cooper, by the way, joined in on the photo op there as well.